If you're moving to San Antonio, there are 15 things you're gonna wanna know before you make it after it. So be sure and watch the video all the way through so you know exactly what's going down here in SA and we're getting started right now. What's up, YouTube family? It's Jaime with the Aguillon International Group at Keller Williams in San Antonio. And if you're moving to San Antonio, there are 15 things you're going to want to know about. So be sure and watch the video all the way through so you can be in the know just like all the locals here in San Antonio. And if this is your first time to the channel and you really want to know what it's like to live in San Antonio, what's really going down on a day-to-day -day basis and how the market has changed here in 2022, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new video. And... Um, if you're even thinking about moving somewhere in the area, you're going to want to call us because every day we've got people like you who are reaching out to us, relocating here to San Antonio. We absolutely love it. We know the city really well, so all that needs to happen is we can hop on a Zoom call with you. You have an opportunity to tell us what's important to you, where you're going to be working, what kind of lifestyle you want your family to experience when you're out here. And um, we're going to be able to put you in an area that matches all the things that are important to you. All you got to do is shoot us a call, send us a text, give me an email, whatever is easiest for you. We got your back when you're moving to San Antonio. What's so, up, family? Here's the first fun fact about San Antonio. So um, I moved here from Hereford, Texas about 10 years ago. I was born and raised out there. It's a small country town. Um, when it comes to river walks, we didn't have any river walks out there in Hereford, Texas, or even in Amarillo, the biggest town close by. But in San Antonio, they've got a beautiful river walk um, downtown. And um, during like the holidays and stuff, they light it up. It's a really cool place to go visit get some pictures and there's a dozen restaurants and places to go hang out, grab a brewski or, you know, have a really good taco, whatever you're looking for. But I, what I didn't know is that it's actually illegal um, to swim in the San Antonio River within the corporate limits. Um, so you can't jump in the water. If you do, you could get charged with up to a $500 fine. It's known as a misdemeanor. And um, a couple years back, that dude from, um, from Jackass actually came out and jumped in it. I didn't follow through to see if he actually got a ticket or if he was fine, I'm pretty sure he did. But if someone is watching and y'all know, drop a comment. Let me know what's going down. But I thought that's a fun fact that you should know. You can't jump in the Riverwalk downtown San Antonio. You will get in trouble. So make sure you're not doing that or you don't have plans to do it when you come out here to San Antonio. Or be prepared to pay the fine. So the second thing you're going to want to know about is if you have any pets and they end up going straight, do everything in your power to make sure that doesn't happen. Because any dogs that are impounded... Um, and they're not claimed within the first two days. They're actually going to become the property of the city. I didn't know that, so I thought that's something all you animal lovers are going to want to know about. If you lose your pet, I'm praying for you. I'll post on Facebook, put signs all around the city because San Antonio's filled with lots of helpful people. I hate for you guys to lose your doggy like this and look how cute that is. So yeah, any impounded animals not claimed um, by its owner after two days becomes the property of San Antonio. So you're going to want to know that when you're moving here to SA. If you're like me and you come to San Antonio for the first time, like when I moved here a while back, um, it was cool to see the horse carriages going around downtown. And um, what I didn't know is horse carriages are actually suspended if it's hotter than 95 degrees outside. It makes a lot of sense because, I mean, 95 degrees is hot. And if you can imagine it being hotter than that, that puts the horses through just unnecessary heat. And um, in that downtown King William area, you're not allowed to have a horse carriage run through there after 1030. And if it's on a Sunday, they actually can't start the rides until 12. So if you're planning a vacation out here to San Antonio and a horse carriage ride is something that you're looking forward to do, make sure you get it in um, after 12 on Sunday and take a look at the weather because in the summer months, I mean, it's over 95 degrees often. So I'd hate for you to miss out on an opportunity to go on a horse carriage ride. Um, so I hope you, you really like this fact because the horse carriage rides can be super romantic and it's fun for the kids too. So if it's hotter than 95, you're not going to be able to do it. This next one really gets me. It's actually illegal to climb a pecan tree. Um, to gather pecans and um, I found a place where you can find that in the in the municipality code about um, trees and all that there are actually a lot of tree um, laws in place here in San Antonio but it's illegal to climb a pecan tree in any public park or street you actually can't even throw stones or sticks at it um, to try to knock the pecans down so be sure your kids aren't out there doing that I'd hate for them to end up in trouble or for you to end up going to jail or something like that I don't know if anybody's ever gone and maybe I can do some research on that and let you know. But yeah, you can't be climbing pecan trees here in San Antonio. They're serious about their pecans. This next one makes a lot of sense to me. Um, you actually can't spit in public places. It's illegal to spit upon sidewalks, crosswalks, the floors at church, public halls, 
theaters and buses. Some of these are like a common sense thing, um, but I guess they made it a lot because someone somewhere just obviously didn't follow it. But yeah, be careful when you're out here just chewing something, chewing spitting gum or tobacco, because uh, apparently it's illegal to do it. So there is a curfew in San Antonio for children between 10 and 17. And uh, that's really important. So if you guys got kiddos who are driving um, and they're in that, you know, teenage range, maybe they've got a permit to drive. You actually can't be out between the hours of, um, what is that, 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. So from 11 to 6 a.m., your kiddos cannot be out if they're not going to be with um, a, like a, a guardian or a supervisor or their parent, grandparent, something like that. So make sure you let your kids know they can't be out in about between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. This next one is dear to my heart because I didn't know this and I actually fed a couple more people than I was supposed to back in the day. But um, this, uh, no regulations apply to charitable feeding of four individuals or fewer. However, if you're giving food to more than five people, you have to have a certified food handler and, be, um, and notify the health department. So you must have a certified food handler and notify the health department. So in San Antonio, there are homeless people in and around the city. So if you have a giving heart and God put it in you just to go, you know, pay it forward and, and get some food out to some of the homeless people out here, you got to have uh, that food handler and notify the health department if you're going to plan on feeding more than five people. What I found from personal experience, if you go out there with a bunch of tacos, word gets around pretty quick, you're going to have a big crowd out there. So uh, make sure you do everything legit so that you don't get in trouble and, and um, some of these laws don't prevent you from um, helping feed some of the people who are out here without warm food in their bellies. And um, yeah, I just thought that was something good for you guys to know. This next one's a little crazy, but human remains cannot be buried anywhere within the city except in cemeteries. Fun fact, there's a neighborhood in San Antonio off of Prue Road. In fact, um, let me see if I can pull it up for you so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. But they actually found human remains buried in somebody's backyard. It was crazy. Okay, so this neighborhood right here, Woodridge. Um, I've got a friend who lives in the neighborhood, and when you drive in the entry right here, um, this back corner right there, you can't see too good in the pictures, but... It was um, under construction for a really long time, and I asked some of the neighbors, hey, what, what's going down there? And apparently they were rebuilding, I guess, the, the brick fence that's right there. And uh, as they were digging up to put a new fence, they, obviously, they actually found um, uh, coffins um, with human remains in them. So I didn't follow that story all the way through to see what really went down. But apparently they didn't know that you can't bury human remains anywhere other than the cemetery. Now, it could have been like someone's parents, grandparents, I mean, you know, loved ones. You never know. I'm hoping for the best. And it wasn't someone who got murdered and they just tried to do something back out there. But yeah, crazy, crazy. But if you're curious, you can't bury any loved ones in your backyard. It's got to be in a cemetery um, within the city limits. This next one's going to be a real, uh, a real big one for like Fiesta because San Antonio has a lot of parties. It's a great place to hang out, drink some beer with loved ones and friends and just have a good time. But you got to know that it's illegal to have an open container of alcohol within 12 feet of a public street in the King William area um, of the Central Business District. So King William is a real popular historic neighborhood in San Antonio. Um, the Riverwalk runs all up through that neighborhood. Um, and King William is surrounded by downtown, so like bars, restaurants, eatery. It's like the heart of Fiesta. So if you ever come during the Fiesta time, um, go check it out. But just know you can't have any open beverages within 12 feet of a public street in the King William District. I'm pretty sure you guys will be thankful for that one. Okay, so I think this is our 10th fun fact about San Antonio. So the 10th thing you probably didn't know is San Antonio is the most visited city in Texas. Um, and that makes sense to me with attractions like Six Flags, Fiesta, Texas, the Riverwalk, the historic Alamo. Um, yeah, so it's actually the 17th most visited city in the entire nation. If you've never been out to San Antonio, you got to come out here. It's a really cool place to come hang out. Lots of things to do if you're single, if you're married, if you got kids, if you don't have kids, you're going to find some fun here in San Antonio. Join the world. Come visit San Antonio. Number 11, Church's Chicken. So I actually didn't know this until I did some research myself, but Church's Chicken first opened up in San Antonio, and they're famous for their fast food place. It started back in 1952. Um, I thought that was pretty cool to know about. There are some really good chicken places in San Antonio. Church's Chicken definitely happens to be one of my favorite. And um, as far as church, Church's Fried Chicken goes in San Antonio, right across the street from the Alamo, it's now the fourth largest chicken restaurant in the country behind KFC, Chick-fil-A, and Popeye's Chicken. I mean, it's up there. Chick-fil-A is probably my favorite from all of those. And then from there, probably Church's Chicken because I really like their mashed potatoes. But yeah, fun fact that you probably didn't know about San Antonio. Okay, so now we're on number 12. San Antonio is actually home to the America's second oldest park. That is crazy. 
So if you like the outdoors, you're gonna to wanna to know that, or at least it's a cool fact for me, San Pedro Park is the oldest park in Texas, and it's the second oldest park in the nation. So it officially became a public park in 1852. The San Pedro Park, excuse me, is home to so much history. Like during the Civil War, the park was used as a prisoner of war camp, and now the park has over 60 hiking trails, a swimming pool, a skate plaza, and the San Pedro Library, and much more. That's a really cool place, you gotta check it out. It's located just north of downtown. Um, and if you stay tuned to my YouTube channel, I'm likely going to do a video vlog style out there so you can see a boots on the ground experience of what it's like in San Pedro Park. So now we're on to number 13. San Antonio Zoo is the third largest zoo in the U.S. That is crazy. It sits on over 35 acres and um, it has over 3,500 animals and an aquarium. So it's the third largest zoo in the nation and it breeds a number of endangered species, including leopards, African lions, and Komodo dragons. So if your kids love the zoo, if, you're, if you like the zoo and you like to see different animals and stuff, go check out San Antonio Zoo. It's a cool place to hang out. And I think they're open all year round, so just make sure you, um, you get everything in advance, come out, check out the zoo, and enjoy the scenery. Okay, so we know that um, San Antonio is the most visited place in Texas and the second in the nation. And the Alamo is actually the most visited attraction in all of Texas. So remember the Alamo when you come out, um, it has over 2.5 million people visit every single year. So if you're ever in the area, come check out the Alamo. If it's not 95 degrees or hotter, you can even take a horse carriage ride. Um, but yeah, that's a fun fact. So if there's anything you guys want to know about or you want to see anything that I talked about like in person, I'll grab, I'll grab my GoPro, I'll head out there and I'll show you what it looks like. Just drop a comment, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're planning on moving to San Antonio and um, you just want to know what to do out here when you come visit, shoot me a call. Um, shoot me a text, send me a call, give me a, an email, whatever is easiest for you. I got your back. I want to make sure you have a good experience when you come visit San Antonio. So number 14, another cool fact is San Antonio is home to the oldest church in Texas. The San Fernando Cathedral dates back to 1738. That is crazy. And remains the heart of the Catholic region in San Antonio. Over 5,000 people attend services in just one weekend. I visited that church. It's pretty cool. Um, I actually got to get some footage out to you guys so you can see what it looks like. It's downtown. It's close to the River City Mall, close to the Riverwalk, close to the Alamo. So yeah, oldest church in Texas. That's pretty cool. Let's keep it moving so I can give you the last two fun facts in San Antonio. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, San Antonio has this big party named Fiesta. It's actually so big it lasts 10 days. And um, it's Fiesta San Antonio. It's the city's biggest and most attended festival. It happens every April, with the exception to COVID. They had to reschedule it. Um, but yeah, so it happens, and they've been doing it since 1891. I didn't know that. That's a crazy long time. But the festival began to honor the memory of the battles of the Alamo and San Jacinto. And now more than 3 million people attend every year, and more than 100 events are hosted within the festival. This is one of my favorite things about San Antonio. There is so much to do during Fiesta, during those 10 days. And um, the food is incredible. The people are amazing. Um, there's lots to do. If you like to drink cold brewski, there's going to be plenty of that. So make sure you come out here during April or during that fiesta season. Um, you can go to the San Antonio website, and it's going to have a schedule of when fiesta is going down. So make sure and come hang out with us. Okay, so number 15. The Tower of America can be seen literally from all over San Antonio. I did a vlog-style video um, not that long ago all the way in the far west side and even from there even 30 minute drive 45 minute drive from downtown you can still see the towers of america from there so the towers of america is a 750 foot tall tower that can be seen from literally anywhere it's located in hemisphere park and it was opened in 1968 the tower is the tallest building in san antonio and it's the 27 tallest building in all of texas plus it has 952 steps you can actually take the steps if you wanted to i've been told you can you can climb all 952 steps to get to the top I've never done it. I bet you that would be crazy. I went to go, I went to Lifetime the other day to do squats. My thighs are still sore. I can feel that lactic acid that needs to get just massaged out or something. But yeah, so those are fun, 15 fun facts. Let's see if we can find the 16th. Bam, here it is. And I, I would venture to say this has probably grown since they did the statistic. Bonus number 16, San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the U.S. behind cities like New York, Los Angeles. San Antonio comes in the seventh as the most populated city in the nation. And it's the second most populated in Texas behind Houston with about 1.4 million. So yeah, I'm pretty sure those statistics are going to be different. I'm actually going to do some research and I'm going to get another number out to you. But if there's something you guys want to know about in San Antonio, you got to reach out to me. Um, drop a comment. Um, give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. These are 15 things you didn't know in San Antonio.